morning and welcome to From the Newsroom. I am uh, Lisa Pallavi Barbara and I have with me Faizad Adajanya. Uh, Mint has recently found out that uh, for the recently launched uh, Rajiv Gandhi Equity Savings Scheme or commonly known as RGESS, mutual fund houses or uh, asset management companies are uh, now handing out very hefty uh, distribution commissions uh, to their distributors. So Kaizad is here with me to tell us uh, what this is all about. Yeah, so as you said, um, you know, some of the mutual fund houses that launched RGSS schemes last week, um, a couple of them have been paying quite high commissions. So it's come to our attention that uh, HDFC has been paying about 55 uh, to 5.6% commissions to some of its distributors. And uh, DSP BlackRock mutual fund has been paying as high as 6% commissions to uh, its distributors to be able to sell RGSS schemes. Now, um, you know, not all fund houses are, you know, paying such high commissions, but a few fund houses have taken the leap. Now, when we asked them, they said that, uh, you know, RGSS is a difficult product to sell, you know, because it is targeting first-time equity investors. It is targeting those investors whose gross total income is, you know, less than 10 lakhs. And plus, you have never opened a DMAT account. So, to be able to find such customers itself in large towns is a tedious task. And then you've got to explain them the final aspects and details of RGSS scheme that itself, uh, and you know, when there's not so much of product now because it's a new scheme, it's a new concept. So to be able to nudge the distributors to, uh, you know, go out of their way and, uh, you know, search these customers and get them to invest in the scheme, that's why, you know, some of these fund houses have started paying uh, what many of us feel that, you know, quite abnormally high. Uh, no, not, not, not abnormally high, but well, reasonably high uh, commission as compared to, we've never seen these levels of commissions earlier before, you know, because even after uh, last year when SEBI revised the commission structures, you know, many fund houses increased the commissions to about 3, 3.5%. Mm-hmm. ELSS schemes, mm-hmm. tax saving schemes, which normally pay the highest level of commission, they used to, they went up to about 4, 4.5% commission, mm-hmm. but this is 6%, mm-hmm. highest that, you know, we've ever seen. So that's what we've found out. So now uh, entry loads have been abolished in uh, this industry. So what's the fuss about? I mean, why can't they pay uh, such high commissions? Well, uh, you know, what happens is that earlier when entry loads were there, uh, investors used to pay uh, the commissions out of their pockets and then they, you know, the fund houses used to pass on these entry load collections to the distributors as their commissions. Now entry loads are not there. So you and I, when we invest our money, we don't pay entry loads. So uh, to be able to... Um, you know, compensate mutual funds and distributors um, uh, for this loss of entry loads. What SEBI did last year was allow them to increase the expense ratio that uh, fund houses can charge to investors. As was the case before also, but now the expense ratio has gone up. So earlier it was 2.5% that you and I pay on our investments every year. Now that has gone up to 3%. Okay. So um, the thing is that um, over and above this, if the AMC wants to pay the distributor a commission, then they have to take a hit on their books. So some of the industry players, in fact, many of the industry players feel that these high, high distrib- uh, RGSS commissions that um, you know distributors are paying, that mutual funds are paying to distributors, like 6%, mm-hmm. some of it obviously will come from uh, uh, you know the total expense ratio and the schemes. Mm-hmm. But the other big portion of that scheme, mm-hmm. uh, of their expense, the AMCs would have to take the hit on their books. Mm-hmm. And when they take the hit on their books, you know, uh, some of these commissions are so high, like about 5.5% to 6% commissions. Mm-hmm. These fund houses who are paying, apparently, they may be able to take the hit. But otherwise, it's not uh, economically viable to take the hit on the AMC's books also, because now the commissions have squeezed all over the place. And, you know, it's not uh, AMC as a business model of the AMC does not support paying such high commissions. Mm-hmm. So it, you and I may not pay these uh, commissions directly, but you know it hurts the industry, it hurts the AMCs. Mm-hmm. And if it hurts the industry, it hurts the industry, I mean AMCs, then eventually it will hurt uh, investors also. It's not for the healthy growth of the industry. So for this product itself, uh, what about the investors? Is it a good enough product? Maybe the commissions actually justify uh, you know, how the product is and uh, for the investors? We have not uh, recommended the product. Mint, okay. Mint does not like this product. And uh, you know, it's a very complicated product for first-time investors. And uh, look at the amount of tax benefits. They're very, very negligible. So you know, if you maximize your investments in RGS scheme, if you are in a 20% tax bracket, you will get only at a benefit of 5,000. And so 5,000 rupees and for 2,500, which was a 10% benefit, it doesn't make sense to take exposure in equities. It's a lock-in product. Mm-hmm. So very, very complicated. Mm-hmm. So in short, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we are not recommending this scheme to our readers, to our investors.
Thanks, Kazat. So there you go. Um, some unfair uh, commission structures, a complicated product. Uh, let's wait and watch if RGESS will actually pick up and uh, investors take uh, to this new product. That's all from us. Thank you for joining us in From the Newsroom.